Hello YouTube, my name's Jax and welcome to the channel. So I think this is devlog 26. I did record a devlog actually, which would have been 26, but I, I didn't put it out. <laughs> so, cause it was just basically what I'm gonna do in this video as well. It, it's just, it's a nothing really. This is just another one of those times where I just need to sort of vent my frustration of, of me trying to build on this game and, and uh, I just need, I need a reference point. So when I can look back at my devlog and say, okay, so I was here at this point and now I can see some progression. So I just make these devlogs just so I've got a reference point for my own progression, which is a bit selfish, I suppose, but hopefully some, so there's some value to it to someone, uh, hopefully somewhere. Uh, but yeah, so yeah, basically I've been working on this game I've decided I'm going to make it a multi-level game, which is made a lot more work for myself because now I have to build all the maps <laughs> and it's took me about a week just to kind of get this map looking nearly half finished. So I'm just going to play the game and show you like what the map looks like now. The frames go really choppy as well when OBS is running. So I'm just going to warn you about that. But yeah, so you start off. It's not completely finished. But um Yeah, this is basically it. So I mean I could just use assets from the Unreal Marketplace, but the problem with that is that like they're not gonna be really uniform. So I'm gonna I, I gotta add more enemy enemy bots to it and stuff like that and but yeah that that that's about that's about it so far but yeah I've made all this sort of map added a few decals but everything that's on this map now I made myself in Blender and the reason why I want to do that is so I can keep to a uniform and and so everything looks the same rather than rather than them being like a door from unreal marketplace then a trash bin from somewhere else and it all just looking not uniformed basically so yeah that that's why i wanted to make all the assets myself so like this first level like this is pretty much the first level done i mean the way the the um pace of it and the way the enemies come and stuff isn't isn't exactly how it's going to be you're going to be able to pick up energy and pick up ammo and that uh, on the way through this map and i might make it slightly longer as well because it's it's a little bit short but this is the end now so like that that's the end of it so i might make it a little bit longer than this but yeah um as, as it stands this is like the first level so you're going to start the game do this level get to the end of here complete it and then go to the next level and then the next level will be like maybe streets again and it will just keep progressing yeah it will just keep uh pardon me it'll just keep uh progressing till like you get to like spaceships and outer space and stuff like that and and stuff and it will get quite crazy i don't know how many levels maybe like seven or eight or maybe even 10 or 12 levels i'm not I'm not sure yet. It depends how big and depends how long they take for each level. But I just thought I'd just give a little update. Like, um, and another reason is because I wanted to vent and and give myself a bit of a bit of a what you call it a reference for my progression. It. What I've also done is I've made these materials and I've made them. Uh, so the material is can be resized to any size so let me just show you so if i resize this this brick the tiling is still the same look and that's opposed to if i was to put a different material on it, it doesn't let me see if i can show you um, where is that? 
Hey, look what that says. Ah, uh, can't remember. Oh, it's here. Yeah. So let me put, say, this one on. That's not it. Right, that one. Right. So see how it's all, it's all um, it's not right shape. Now if I move it smaller, see how it goes to a different shape. But then you can't like have different sizes because it will all be stretched and all all different and you want it to be consistent which is uh this one so this one will always stay always stay the same size no matter how how big your bricks are so what you want to do with that is this so you need to have a world position and then you need to divide it by a scalar. I've called that scale, but that is actually a scalar. Then you want to put a mask on. And then that goes into your UVs of it can either be your full sample or your texture sample for your normals. So that's how you make um make it so it can scale like that. But you have to be careful because look, if you look, that's only because my game's 2D. So because it's like a 2D thing. They're the only UVs you're seeing from that that uh, face forward. So, so then bricks look that way from that from that way, but if you was to look at them bricks from this side, look they don't look the same. They're all like weird lines. And that's because of the way it's masked. And the R and the B is masked. If I was to change them them uh, values there in the mask, it would say it would maybe like be lines that way, lines that way, and brick that way. So yeah. That's just um just like I can put the link if if anyone wants to know more about how I've done that. I can put the link into the video that I got that from. It's not something that I made up. I watched a tutorial to work that out. But yeah, um, that's that's about it really. I just thought I'd just give a little update. Um, been just working on little little assets really, little burglar alarms, lights, spotlights. Spotlights are pretty cool. Um, got like metal material on the shutters and things like that. Uh, made these um, decals, fire exit decals and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, that, that's about it. I redesigned them air vents about 12 times. <laughs> maybe more, maybe less, but more likely more. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's about it, guys. I, I hope uh, this video was some value. Ho hopefully I should get moving with the actual game now because... Now I've got the first map sorted. I need to put the game in place so I know how it how it's going to play and and put the pacing or and all that together. So yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, I ho hope that has some value. It's a value to me because uh, I get to see where I, I was last. But hopefully, it's a value to someone else as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And I'll see. I'll be playing Call of Duty actually on the tenth. When multiplayer comes out, well, when the game comes out, but multiplayer is the only thing that I really play anyway. So, yeah, um, yeah, have a good day, people, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.